Roxette Arisa, and today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this classic holiday look right here. I saw so many requests for a makeup tutorial on this look when I wore it in my holiday party hairstyle makeup tutorial. That is such a tongue twister for me. I do not even know why, but it is. But point being, so many people requested to see a makeup look like this, so I thought I would just squeeze in another video this week so I could show you guys peep a little how I got this look. I'm feeling very festive this year. It is awesome and I don't know why because in California it's still like 70 degrees, 80 degrees every day. So I don't know why I'm feeling so festive this year but I am super pumped to show you guys how I got this, you know, holiday party makeup look and I hope you guys are excited to see. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss out on any of my videos. I usually don't upload today but, you know, if you're subscribed, you probably got a little notification about this video. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. Alrighty, so we're going to start off with primer. I'm just using my normal, my go-to. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. Just take a little bit on the cheeks and then a little on the forehead and really work that into the skin. And as you can see, I'm dealing with a little situation right here on my forehead. So you definitely wanna go over that area with the primers if you're having like a breakout or anything because this primer really does help to smooth out your foundation over any little blemishes, or big blemishes in my case. Alrighty, and then for this look, I really wanted a luminous base, so I'm going in with the Luminous Silk Foundation from Giorgio Armani. This is what I used when I was first creating the look because like I said, I just wanted something really glowy and dewy. I feel like it's really fitting for this time of year. You can tell this shade is much darker than my face, but you really want to try to match your face to your neck, so this is a pretty good match. I'm using MAC Soft Ochre to prime today. This is just, you know, the huge. Then for shadows, I'm first going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Blanc eyeshadow and just go ahead and set down that primer. Then I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades from Makeup Geek. This is Chickadee and then Creme Brulee and put that into the crease as our transitional shade. Then for our main lid shade, this is actually the product that I use. It's from Pure Cosmetics times Mac Daddy. It was their like little collab from the Royal Collection. And this is the shade Your Majesty of the Liquid Metallic Eyeshadows. And they come on a little applicator, so I just did like one swoop on each eyelid. Don't blink because it will transfer. And I go ahead and blend that out with a Sigma Buff and Blend E39 brush. And then once I have that on the lid, I'll go in with a Sigma E40 and just take those same two colors, Chickadee and Creme Brulee from Makeup Geek, and blend out the crease so it's nice and seamless. Whew, I love a good bronze eye. And this next step, I think, is the step that really made the eyes pop when I did that hair tutorial. So this shade, what is this? Whew. I almost had a heart attack because I thought that was going to fall and crack. It pulled through for me. So this is Makeup Geek Magic Act. It is a foiled eyeshadow and this is what I use right in the center of the lid to really make the eyes pop. It is such a beautiful, beautiful color. It's just the perfect light gold. I think this is actually my favorite foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to take that on a... Like I was saying, taking that on a Sigma E58. Then I take that same brush that we used to originally buff out that um, creamy, liquidy shade and I take it onto the sides and buff it in. Whew, I love this combo. I think it's like <sighs> so beautiful. It kind of differs when you turn your head because that gold is mostly deposited in the middle, but it kind of got spread out. Oh, I love this eye combo. So now for lashes. So many people were asking about what lashes I was wearing in that video, and it was these. These are the Sidur Sienna lashes. They're really, really pretty. They are pretty comfortable, I would say, and just the style, so nice. Oh my God, one of my dog's hairs is in the lash. While the glue dries, I'm just going to go ahead and add on some of this Tarte Tartist Mascara. Multitasking at its finest. Ooh. 
And once you get those lashes on, you just want to go over the lash band with a black eyeshadow just to really conceal it and make it look natural if that's possible with these lashes. That is actually it for the eyes pretty much. It's a really simple eye look, but I think it's really, really beautiful and perfect for the holiday season. So we are going to move back to the face now. I'm using this Sephora Collection Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Custard, and I'm just going to apply that all over the face, underneath the eyes, down the middle of the face, up towards the nose area so we can highlight and conceal. Then to blend that out, I'm just using my Morphe M, sorry, not M, E20. I applied a lot of concealer today, so sometimes when I apply too much, I'll blend out the edges with a bigger brush. So this is the Sephora Pro Airbrush 55. And like I said, just blending out the edges so it's a bit quicker and it still gives us that really, really flawless finish. Then to bake, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and just applying that underneath the eyes and pretty much anywhere else that we want a more brightened appearance with a beauty blender. This one is not damp, but I kind of do recommend doing it damp. And I do like to bring it up against the nose in order to start our little not nose contour. Then you know the drill while we let that bake a little bit. I'm gonna go into my little baby. This is the MAC Cosmetics Shade Stir Sculpting Powder right here, and I'm gonna be applying that with a MAC 168 brush. And I'm using the exact same shade to contour my nose. With this, I am going to be using a Morphe M443 brush. And it's nice because you can just fit the brush right in between those lines where we baked. Perfection! For bronzer, I don't actually remember what I used. It was definitely either Butter Bronzer or MAC Give Me Sun, but I can't actually remember which one it was. I think I might just go with MAC Give Me Sun to really glow it up here. This is darker than the Butter Bronzer, but if you want to go with something that's more subtle, then I would probably go with the Butter Bronzer. I feel like we're pretty good on the baking, so I'm just going to go ahead and wipe away the excess. I kind of like to tap it when I get to the under eyes, just because that way you're not wiping away any of the concealer or anything underneath. You're just kind of tapping in the product, but still wiping away the excess. For the bottom lash line, I'm going back into Makeup Geek Creme Brulee and I'm just going to apply that really lightly with a dose of colors pencil brush. I didn't smoke out the lower lash line too much like I normally would. I just left it very, very subtle so that the emphasis is on that beautiful gold. Here comes another part I don't really remember. I don't remember if I had any color in the lower waterline. I think I may have used this product. This is Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Scorch. Apparently you can't find this shade. Somebody tweeted that to me that they couldn't find this shade anymore, so it may be discontinued. I don't know because I've had this for probably like three years. <gasps> I've had it for a really long time. But if you can't find it, I'll try to list something very, very similar to this shade down below. It's just a really nice gold liner. Urban Decay makes a great liner formula for the lower lash line. So yeah, I'll link something down below that's really similar to this if I can't find the exact product and just in general all of the products that I use will be linked down below as always. And of course, just going to go back in with some mascara on those lower lashes. For my blush, I went back into my little MAC palette right here that I'm creating, and this is the blush that I used. It's Peachy Keen by MAC. It's really, really pretty because it does have sort of like a subtle pinkness to it. Pinkness? <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, but it, you know, it has like that subtle pink tone to it but it does actually have gold reflex in it so you're just going to be going along that same line of really bronze golden beautiful glowy for the holidays okay and then for highlight this was like one of my favorite parts of the whole look it is 
if I can open it. Laura Geller and Gilded Honey, it never does me wrong ever since I rediscovered it in my collection. If you watch my favorites video, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I'm applying that with a Sigma strobing fan F42 all over the face. I mean, just bathe yourself in this stuff because it is so beautiful, you will not regret it. In the comment section of that video, everybody was asking what lip color I was wearing and it was this little bad boy. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade American Doll. It is such a beautiful, classic, true red and this is what I use. But before I go in with that, I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. So I like to use a slightly darker lip liner when I'm doing a red. I just feel like it kind of contours your lips a little bit. So this is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Vixen. And then we can go ahead and apply the ABH liquid lipstick. And once you've got your lip on, you can go ahead and set all of this makeup down. I'm gonna be using the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. Alrighty, and this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really, really love how it turned out. I think it's just the perfect classic holiday party makeup look or classic holiday look in general. Just so glowy, golden smoky eyes, that classic red lip, like everything about it screams holidays to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and comment down below if you have any video suggestions. And this video was made off of all of your guys' suggestions. I wasn't really planning to film a tutorial on this makeup look, but because you guys requested it, I did it for you guys. So if you ever have any requests, leave them down below and I will definitely try to do them. And I think that's gonna be it for me. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. I love you guys, happy holidays, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.